total crypto market cap, the bullishness on this chart is next level. Bitcoin even on the weekly looking really just so nice to start the parabolic bull cycle. Sprinkled throughout this video though, will be caution, short-term caution. It is so much needed to sometimes tame the excitement that we see, especially as we're entering like all-time high territory and really just look at the technicals, pace ourselves. This thing is just getting started. I think the next 300 days or so are going to be absolutely mind-boggling for all of us, but we need, to, we need to take in regard the proper context in terms of what the journey ahead looks like. So right now we do, in terms of the Bitcoin charts, we have something that we've never seen throughout these cycles, the Bitcoin supply shock that we've never seen. Hit the subscribe, hit the like on the way in. Let's just start talking about it. Bitcoin reserves on exchanges hit 2018 lows, signaling rising demand and tightening supply that could boost prices. It looks nice. It sounds nice. It's a nice headline. It is supply shock, but you put it in the proper context. Crypto Rover posts, for the first time in Bitcoin history, the balance of Bitcoin exchanges is dropping during a bull run. So look at this purple line. This is the, the exchange reserves falling. And he has in these, in these red boxes, basically historically, these parabolic bull cycles. With, with price in white line, you see the Bitcoin reserves just kind of making a move to the upside. And look at this, historically, look at two cycles ago, just the reserves rising, reserves rising. And here it is right now. Look at this move in terms of the supply shock. Bitcoin leaving exchanges. Hence the title of the video, this cycle is different. A massive supply shock is coming. All the while, MicroStrategy makes largest Bitcoin purchase ever at $4.6 billion. This is Michael Saylor posting earlier this morning about the purchase and also Today, this morning, besides MicroStrategy, Mara announced a $700 million, million convert to acquire more BTC. Similar Scientific raises $21 million, ATM and acquires 215 BTC. MetaPlanet issues 1.75 billion yen debt offering to buy more Bitcoin. The corporate Bitcoin race is heating up. What about the global government Bitcoin race that's heating up? What about the, the Bitcoin Act, the Bitcoin US Reserve that is in play? What about all the other news that is happening right now that I'm not even really going over? Gensler getting ready to resign. The anti-crypto army absolutely just losing. And not to mention, crypto capital gains tax potentially on the table. No crypto capital gains tax potentially on the table. Things are getting crazy right now. Not to mention, Goldman Sachs plans to turn its digital asset platform into an industry-owned blockchain venture for faster, faster asset trading and settlement. This is what's happening in crypto. This, these are the headlines just today, everybody. So let's start talking about the charts now. And, and again, I, I said I'm going to sprinkle in caution because I just, I, I want to because it's necessary when we're really looking at what's happening playing out on these charts. Total crypto market cap hits all-time high just above 3 trillion. This is the floor of the bull cycle. I genuinely think that. First, I'm going to show you why. And then we're going to talk about the volatility that might be ahead. So here we are, and we're, if we're looking at right now, and I've talked about this, compared to last cycle, this was the floor, right? It's not like until this moment anything was new. We've been here, right? We've been in this area, 2 to $3 trillion, all the way back in 2021. But notice how this was the end of the bull cycle last cycle, right? It's very similar to how at the end of the 2017 bull cycle, $700 billion was the end. But last cycle, at the beginning of the bull market, $700 billion was the beginning. In the same regard, $3 trillion is the beginning for the cycle. Now, what I want to mention, then we're going to look at Bitcoin charts. I want to mention, this does not come without volatility. This does not come without red candles. And the thing that is interesting to me is right now is, what kind of red candles will we see? We have, re we have two extremely solid cycles of data to really get an idea. And they're actually very different. I want to point something to your attention on this total crypto market cap chart. Right now, the total crypto market cap chart from, the, from this green line down here is overextended around 34%. That's some nice overextension. When I went back and I looked at last cycle at this moment, do you notice something? That entire bull cycle to that first swing high all the way up here was pretty much overextended the entire time. Yes, there are red candles, but even the red consolidation weeks that we see here, 
they even look bullish. Look at the upward momentum on those candles. Even this one, a, a slight red candle, but it was just a lot of space between where the total crypto market cap chart was and the 20 week. Now, if we go back two cycles ago, and there are so many similarities to two cycles ago, we see a little bit different of, and, I, and I'm going to explain why this, this actually, we'd probably want to see this type of volatility. If we want a super cycle, if we want crazy gains this cycle, this is the volatility we probably want to see. Big dips of consolidation, filling in that gap, that overextension from the 20 week. And you can just see it happened multiple times. So here is where we are around this cycle, right? Right now, here's this purple line, the altcoin season. You can see right before that, there was a little bit of a, a consolidation, a very big consolidation over the course of a couple of weeks from swing high to swing low. It's 35% dip. Shortly after altcoin season began, check it out. Another consolidation back down to the 20-week moving average, around 30%. And then just really nice consolidations. A couple more big dips of consolidation in, in that parabolic bull cycle, almost 50% consolidation. So two cycles ago, very different in terms of how it interacted with the 20-week moving average compared to last cycle. Last cycle was just floating far above it for quite some time before that first top around right around $2.5 trillion. So that brings us to where we are today. We are at what I think is the beginning. But as we start getting the overextension now from the 20-week moving average, my question is, what kind of volatility will we have going into altcoin season and post-altcoin season? Remember, my targets to the upside is a very simple, soft target, which I think crypto is going to far exceed around four to four and a half trillion dollars. It's a 1618 higher high up to around 12 and a half trillion dollars. So when we're going into that range, if, if Bitcoin, altcoins, everything exploding, we're going into this range, how, is all, how are altcoins just interacting with the 20-week moving average? Are we getting big throwbacks to it or are we going to be hovering above it like last cycle? It is very important to, to think about that because if we go to the daily chart, and this is what I'm saying, sprinkling in some necessary caution, especially as we are, we're hovering right about, right about all-time high. Maybe this acts as resistance for, for crypto right now. The higher high, higher low consolidation that you see on the daily looks so nice. As you, as you know, I really like seeing this consolidation pattern on in bull markets for any crypto, even a total crypto market cap chart. But are we going to see resistance at this area before going higher? And resistance could look like a move down. On, in this case, to the 20-day, around 13% move. To the 50-day, around 21% move. That could be reminiscent of two cycles ago, moves like that. I think it's very important to use caution because if we go back and we look at even last cycle, check it out. It was making the move in between the 20 and the 50-day, the entire cycle, right? So let's, let's anticipate big dips. If we go to the Bitcoin chart, we can kind of sprinkle in some context here from a technical perspective. So Bitcoin charts, as you know, we broke through the inverse head and shoulders, we broke through the neckline. What is in play, and I've talked about this, is the throwback to the neckline. It's back into the 70s. Mid-70s, upper 70s is 100% normal of a move. For Bitcoin, a dip like that would look like 14 15%. That aligns very nicely with consolidation that we just looked at on the total crypto market cap chart, 10 to 20%, somewhere in there. It's so in play right now. If we get a, a, a more of a strong hint of it on the daily chart. So there's the neckline. A dip like that is nothing new for, for Bitcoin. But the thing that I'm watching right now when it comes to Bitcoin is this, the bearish divergence. Right now, Bitcoin is, is kind of trying to just break out again to, to put in a new, new all-time high. You can see it's kind of like there is higher highs and higher lows on the chart. It's, it's a very nice momentum look on the price. But what's happening on the momentum oscillator, and I'm still keeping my eye on this because it's, it's looking a little indecisive right now. It's actually potentially getting a breakout to the upside. You can see this yellow moving average line. The RSI trying to pivot as of today to the upside. But right now, it's starting to look like some potential bearish divergence. And this is where the caution comes in for me. I just want to, I want to be cautious and aware of the fact that we might be getting a momentum move to the downside in the short term. So Bitcoin could very well revisit the 50-day moving average, the 20-day moving average. And that's all in the 70s. So that's something I'm being careful for. But what I do want to just mention, and I want to re-echo, 
no matter what happens, we are at what I think is the starting point of the bull cycle. We are finally there. We've tracked so much over the years. It's been nice to see altcoins start moving. Altcoins are still moving today. They might continue moving. We might get the breakout without any consolidation, but we are there, everybody. And when you start studying cycles and you start looking at headlines like this, this cycle is different. That's not an opinion. That's not even an emotional evaluation. That's simply data when you look at this chart. Now, I do want to I do want to mention if you look at kind of as Bitcoin was kind of entering a similar area last cycle, there was a little bit of a drop in the exchange reserves. I will be curious to see, you know, if we get any type of bounce when that happens on the exchange reserves. But in terms of what this chart is doing this cycle around, it's something like we've never seen when you do study even the last cycle. So those are my thoughts today. Going to continue watching altcoin markets, Bitcoin markets. Maybe do another video later more geared towards altcoins. So please hit the subscribe, turn notifications on. Things are getting exciting and I'm just, I'm, it's, it's fun to create content. It's more fun than it's been over the last few years. Let's just say that. So I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good day. God bless.